A fish stock is a population of a certain species of fish that lives in a certain area. So a stock assessment is the way that fishery scientists figure out how many fish in a certain stock exist in a certain area. A stock assessment allows managers to set a limit for how many fish can be harvested sustainably on a given year. There's a lot of different data streams that go into building a stock assessment analysis. The types of data we use, there's many different types of data. There's fisheries dependent data, which include catch statistics, catch rates, species composition of the catch, and the size composition, size and age structure of the catch. I'm a fisheries technician. We track ground fish for the purposes of stock assessments and just making sure the populations are healthy. Usually collect my samples just right on the dock or on the pier after they offload the fish. And so we get the age and length and weight, and then from that they're able to extrapolate the information just so they can kind of get a bigger picture of what's going on and they can compare those lengths and weights from previous years. The age and size structure really tell us a lot about how the population is responding to fishing and responding to climate by virtue of recruitment variability. That's all fishery dependent data. Fishery independent data is survey data. There's a bottom trawl survey for ground fish. This boat has done a survey with the ground fish stock assessments for 17 years. We created a family with the scientists. It's really cool work. We go from the Canadian border to the Mexican border and we make 187 15 minute tows over a span of 45 days. You know, when we first started, I mean, if you got 1,000, 1,500 pounds of fish in, in that 15 minutes, that was pretty good. But we've seen 20,000 pound tows in 15 minutes, I kid you not, the last few years of the survey. It's crazy good. Yeah, the scientists are going, oh no, what are we going to do with all that fish, you know? I mean, so we, we get out sample baskets, you know, and you start shoveling into the sample baskets, and then they do the odalis, they sex, they length, they take tissue samples for DNA, they take scales, they take stomach samples to see what they're eating, and that gives us our stock assessments. It's what projects what we're going to catch the next two years or three years down the road, and the fleet depends on that. If we want a wild caught sustainable seafood, it takes some work. It takes doing the science needed to figure out how many fish can we catch and making sure that the ocean environment is healthy so that then the fish we want to eat out of there are healthy. Maybe we don't get large massive factory trawlers that, and have cheap fish, but what we can have is a sustainable fishery that supports good coastal economies with small businesses and also provides a good healthy product for people to eat.